Hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, we'll be discussing the 2013 film Captain Phillips, starring Tom Hanks. <coughs> of course, this film is based on the real life 2009 incident with Captain, uh, with the real life Captain Phillips, uh, who was a captain of a cargo ship who was that was hijacked by Somali pirates. And how he was able to survive that, how he was able to get away with it, uh, and, su and survive the whole thing. Well, this movie was, uh, you know, it was a pretty good action film. It was directed by Paul uh, Greengrass, who, of course, who also directed the movie uh, United 93. I, mean, I believe it was the same guy who directed United 93, which was also a very good, definitely the best movie of, of 9-11 um, incident. And one uh, lesser told story of 9 11, I should say, was the 1993 crash. Or, hi or hijacking and then crash. Uh, this is almost the same thing, but it kept up the pressure through the whole movie, you felt the whole test through the whole whole film. And you had very, very low breaks in attention in this movie. But like I said, Tom Hanks play, does play Captain Phillips, and he didn't even receive an Academy Award for the uh, nomination for this movie. But the guy who played the Somali, the, the lead Somali pirate, he got an Oscar nomination, and not Tom Hanks, which is a, you know, right? Because he won twice already. That's probably what it is. Uh, like I said, he plays this cargo ship captain who, on a regular run, and was told that Somali pirates were running heavily in this particular area, and so he was running drills. This crew and his crew was completely unarmed, so so it didn't have anybody who was trained to fight these pirates. And then one day, the uh, he kind of feels noticed on radar there was a couple of ships following him. And what when Captain Phillips' order was to when his uh, engineer to push the engines, see if we can outrun these guys. And of course, they did because the engines kind of died out. What well, one ship. Uh, turned around and ran, and the other ship that just kept going, the, the engine died. So they had no choice but to go back. And of course, the next day or two days later, they try it again to get to get to Captain Phillips' uh, ship, which is called the uh, Alabama. And they uh, tried to, uh, this time they outran the ship. And even though with all the, the tricks that the crew was trying to do to keep them off the ship, and try to keep moving the ship so, so the ladder wouldn't work or run the hoses so it could flood the little boat. I mean, it was really a little, like a little dinky motor boat <coughs> I mean, it was built for speed because they upgraded the, the engine so it could uh, get there faster. So it wouldn't die out on them. And they, got, they eventually got on the ship. And what they did was they overtook the captain, they overtook the, the, crew, the crew, and they fought. And they were looking for the whole crew, and then meanwhile the crew was hiding. And Tom Hanks noticed that there was one crew, uh, one of the crew who didn't have sandals on, it was barefoot. So the engineer, as soon as they heard that they were going to come down to the uh, Andrew and Tom Hanks says, hey, how come you guys not wearing, you know, sandals or something over, over the radio? So the crew down in the engine room that was hiding from the pirates, from the smiling pirates, knew one of them was barefoot. So, so the engineer put out broken glass all around the doors of the in, and the engine room, all the entrances. So whatever entrance they used, the guy is going to step on the glass and cut his foot up, which of course, which, I think the strategy they used in the movie Die Hard, I know they're making a Die Hard reference here, but I said, same, same thing, I mean, cut his foot in glass. So what happened was, uh, the crew overtook the pirates. So it kick, you know, kicked them all out and put them on a, rest, a, uh, a lifeboat, one of the lifeboats they had on the ship. So, so but, but the leader of, of the group said, hey, we're not going with her, we're going to take your captain with us. So they took the, you know, Tom Hanks with, you know, Tom Hanks with them. And what they did was, now they were all, now they were off the ship. The problem is, you never knew what happened with the rest of the crew, though, after this happened. 
and the rest of the crew trying to, you know, trying to fight to get the captain back. And you didn't, see, you didn't see any of that stuff. What you saw was the crew, you know, the Somali pirates with Tom Hanks in the in the lifeboat, or Captain Phillips in the lifeboat, and you know, trying to work out a negotiation deal with the U.S. Navy and the Navy SEALs, uh, because the Navy SEALs were the ones who were going to take take these pirates out, and eventually that's what happened. They took out all. Three of there was only like four pirates all together in this movie. They took out three of them, and they had the they had the, the leader on the ship, on, on one of the navy ships. They, they, he tried, he got off the lifeboat onto these uh, one of the navy ships, and said, "Okay, I'm going to negotiate with you if you have my tribal leaders." Because they said they'll go, "Oh, we're going to have your tribal leaders here." And meanwhile, they. They lied, the Navy lied to him, so we're not going to have, they were like stalling for time so, so, so that they could take the other three guys out. Which, which they did, they killed all the other three guys. And so the, the one that's left standing, who was the, you know, the leader of these four guys, uh, was you know, captured, taken to federal prison, of course, and now serving like, over a 30 year life for, for piracy and hijacking a ship and all, and all that type of thing and that's where he is now he's in like a federal prison like in Indiana you know now in the end in the titles in the end of the film uh, on the scroll the end of the film they mention he's in a prison in Indiana now but as a movie it was a damn good movie like I said it's, it's directed by the same guy who directed United 93 uh, like I was mentioned earlier Definitely the best film on 9-11, and of course Captain Phillips is definitely, you know, a movie worth seeing, especially if you're interested in a, in a real life story. I think that story's kind of been forgotten, because it did happen 11 years ago, and people kind of forgot have forgotten that story, but I think Tom Hanks was, was pretty damn good in it, and of course the, Tom Hanks always gives a pretty good performance, except for Tuna and Hooch. Forget that movie, but old, old drunk inside. This movie was pretty damn. Even the Smiley Pirates were, were believable. But like too many captions, and the and the captioning was, was like so small, and so so it was hard to. Uh, and it's also in white. It was in white font, and at least the color was. And it was a different color. It was like in yellow or something. It would be easier to uh, to read. I think it should make should make that rule. Anytime the subtitles of the movie got written in yellow, so it's a little bit easier to uh, read it, and it has to be a little bit bigger font, you know, for people to, for people to see it, in my opinion. But but Captain Phillips is a movie worth watching. So there's my review of the movie uh, Captain Phillips. You know, I said Captain Thomas, I mean Captain Phillips. Please click on the video. Please rate it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please forward this video on your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and all my YouTube channel, uh, RallyC.com, so W-D-Y, and then C.com. One page to Rally Reviewer, Christine Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.